Hey everyone, so here's a quick and easy way how you can blur out single or multiple moving objects using Shotcut Editor. First of all, I'm going to add my video to the playlist here in Shotcut. Just drag and drop the video like this. Let's play and see how it looks with no effects. Okay, so this is the original video. And I'm going to show you how to blur out a single moving object or multiple moving objects. So I'll be blurring out the faces of these uh, two people. So first things first, we have to navigate here to the timeline, right click and add a couple of video tracks. So hit on add video track and then do the same track operations, add video track. Now we have added video track one and two. And from the playlist, just drag and drop the video like this to V1 and V2. Now you have to select the video in V2, navigate to filters, click on the plus button here and look for a filter called crop rectangle. Okay, now you should see the settings opening here and around the preview window, you should also see the borders with the little uh, rectangles. Now, if you left click on any single of these uh, rect boxes, you should be able to adjust the position like this. So what we're doing here is we are selecting the area that we want to blur out. So first of all, I'm going to blur out this person's face here. Now, if I go here to crop rectangle settings, find the padding color and click on this button transparent. Okay, now go back here to filters and click on this add a filter button again. And now find an effect called mosaic, click on it. And as you can see now, it's doing the job for blurring out the object. And you might want to adjust the width and height. So see what suits best for your case. But in this case, I'll just slightly reduce these values. So the blur looks like this and next I have to navigate to crop rectangle and next to the position and size I have to select this use keyframes for this parameter so just make sure you click on this button and next what we have to do is just play and pause this video and keep readjusting the position of this rectangle box Unfortunately, we can't do this automatically in Shotcut, but this is a very simple and easy way how you can blur out moving objects manually. So just continue playing the video and readjust the position. The more frames you cover, the more keyframes you cover, the more accurate your blur effect is going to be. So if you have patience, if you want good quality, you might want to do this slower. So I'm just going through this quite quickly. Okay, so I'm done with blurring out this person's face. Now, if I go back, move the play here to the start in time, play the video. As you can see now, the box is following the face. And it's doing the job. So this is how you blur out a single moving object using Shotcut Editor. Now, if you wanted to also blur out multiple uh, areas, or let's say in this case, uh, this person's face now here. So you just have to go back to the timeline, right click and add a third video track. And drag and drop the video from the playlist. So the same original video to video track three. When you select the new video in video track three, again, repeat the exercise, go back to filters and add crop rectangle. Then again, adjust this um, box so that you cover uh, the area that you wish to blur out. So in this case, let's say this person's face, click on transparent again. And then again, add mosaic, adjust the values here. So your blur out looks better back to rectangle and position and scale use keyframes for this parameter. Now again, play the video and manually adjust the position of this blur box. 
Okay. Halfway through. And if your subject is approaching and it's actually getting bigger, the closer it gets, you can actually just adjust the box like this as well. So you can reduce or increase the size. Okay. And we're actually finished. So this is how we are blurring out multiple moving objects in Shotcut. Now, if I go to the start of this video, play and see how it looks. Okay. And that's all, guys. I hope this was useful. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next tutorial.